Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab Al Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a phone call with the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, His Honor Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Majesty the King congratulated His Honor Sheikh Mish'al on his appointment as Crown Prince. His Majesty wished His Highness success in serving his country and in achieving the aspirations of the Kuwaiti people and more progress under the leadership of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Majesty the King also wished His Highness a health and happiness. For his part, His Highness the Crown Prince expressed sincere thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's message and prayed for God to protect him and to bless Bahrain with continued security and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Kuwaiti Emir, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on the appointment of His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar as the Crown Prince. His Majesty the King wished the Kuwaiti Crown Prince success in serving Kuwait and in contributing to its progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King prayed to God to bless the Kuwaiti Emir with health and Kuwaiti people with progress under the Emir's wise leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar on his appointment as Kuwait's as, as Crown Prince. His Majesty the King expressed his sincere wishes to His Highness and prayed it to God to grant him success in serving his country and fulfilling its aspirations under the wise leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah and to bless His Highness the Crown Prince with health and well being. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa also sent a cable of congratulations to the Kuwait's Emir, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on the appointment of His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar as Crown Prince. His Royal Highness the Premier wished the Kuwaiti Crown Prince success in serving Kuwait and in contributing to its progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister prayed to God to bless the Kuwaiti Emir with health and well being and for Kuwait and its people to achieve progress under his wise leadership. And His Royal Highness Her Prime Minister Bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar on the appointment as Kuwait's Crown Prince. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed his sincere wishes to His Highness and prayed to God to grant him success in serving his country and fulfilling its aspirations under the wise leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah and to bless His Highness the Crown Prince with health and well being. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on the appointment of His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah as Crown Prince of Kuwait. And the cable His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Highness the Emir continued good health, the state of Kuwait further progress, and His Highness the Crown Prince of Kuwait his best wishes. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also sent a cable of congratulations to the Crown Prince of the State of Kuwait, His Honor Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on his appointment. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished his Kuwaiti counterpart success in serving his country under the leadership of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. The newly appointed Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, performed the swearing in ceremony before Kuwait's National Assembly. The ceremony took place following the Assembly's approval by consensus after His Highness was chosen by the Emir, His Highness Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Sabah, to become the next Crown Prince. His Highness Sheikh Mish'al affirmed in a speech before the Assembly that Kuwait will carry on its pioneering role that calls for virtue and peace and that it remains committed to its Arab regional and international responsibilities. Responsibilities. The Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, held a virtual meeting with a number of officers and lecturers who belong to various parties that are involved in His Highness the Governor's social security program. The Governor affirmed during the meeting that the key pillar upon which the government's comprehensive development is based are the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to serve the people of the area. His Highness affirmed that there are ongoing efforts to meet the needs of the people and to enhance their sense 
sense of stability and security. He praised the security coordination between the Southern Governorate and various security agencies that are participating in His Highness the Governor's program on virtual security, which aims to realize the directives of General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to enforce security. Finally, the Governor expressed thanks and appreciation to all participants for their efforts in the program. The Minister of Finance, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, in the meeting of the President of World Bank Group, David Malpass, with finance ministers and governors of central banks in Arab countries, which was held remotely to discuss the latest updates on the repercussions of the coronavirus and its impact on the economy of Arab countries. His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa delivered a speech on behalf of the Council of Arab Finance Ministers, in which they hailed the keenness of the World Bank Group on supporting the efforts to combat the pandemic and its swift response and supply of aid to developing countries. The minister noted the importance of continuing to increase a global cooperation to mitigate the virus's repercussions on economic sectors in various countries. During the meeting, the attendees noted the initiatives of the World Bank Group and its contributions to cooperation with governments and development partners to mitigate the impact of the pandemic, which in turn will contribute to achieving the desired economic recovery. The attendees also discussed in innovative solutions to support the private sector as well as medium and small institutions. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh, received the award of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa for voluntary work, which was presented to the Ministry of Health in the virtual concluding ceremony of the 10th edition of the award to honor the pioneers of voluntary work, the national caterers at the front lines in the kingdom, for their distinguished contributions during the pandemic. Al Saleh congratulated the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Cabinet Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali, on the success of the concluding ceremony affirming the government's keenness on the health of citizens and residents and its support during the past period. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,259 with 805 recoveries, 456 registered new cases and one death. 121 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 329 are contacts of active cases and 6 are travel related. The deceased was an 82-year-old citizen. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.